Now this illustration deals with applying demand factors for cooking equipment in commercial or industrial locations in accordance with NEC 220.56 and Table 250.56. Now notice that we used uh, Section 220.55 and Table 220.55 along with its notes below the table for residential. But since these uh, types of cooking equipment may be, say, in a restaurant, we would use our Table 250.66 to determine the VA for these loads uh, after a demand factor has been applied. Now notice we have uh, cooking equipment uh, as you see in the illustration and the total uh, kitchen load is 82 kW. Now we have two largest loads which is 10 kW and 8. We have three uh, uh, fryers, two steamers, three boilers and we have two microwaves, uh, four pieces of cooking equipment and then that would total up 16 pieces of cooking equipment. Now we're ready to apply a demand factor here for, for this type of equipment that may be in a restaurant, say, or a cafeteria in some conditions. Now to calculate uh, the load for the cooking equipment we would uh, apply step one and we would apply our table 220.56 to obtain our percentage. 16 pieces of cooking equipment will allow 65% demand. Step 2, table 250.66 and 220.56 would allow 65% of the 82 kW, which would equal 253.3 kVA. Now, uh, notice that would be the solution. That would be the answer. 53.3 kVA is greater than the two largest loads of 18 kW that you see at the very left top side of the cooking equipments illustrated. Two largest loads, 10 kW and 8 kW, is where the 18 came from. Now all we're doing is converting kW over to kVA, which the code requires us uh, to do. But now, uh, notice that this figure 2-12 is just illustrating how we could apply a demand factor for cooking equipment used in a commercial or industrial type location based upon the number of units that would be uh, present. And notice now that basically what, the, what they're saying here is that about 65% of that load would be used at one time. And that's due to turning, uh, say, the heat up on a, a cooking equipment maximum to get, to get the heat going. And then you would uh, reduce that setting back to cook whatever you were trying to cook so that you wouldn't burn uh, your cooking uh, food up. So uh, basically, you know, that's, that's what this is saying. So uh, based, based upon the number, you get a percentage is listed in Table 220.56. And that's what this figure 2 that excuse me, that's what this figure 2-12 is illustrating.